Good evening, everyone. October 18th. Um, hopefully, I've got a buck by now. So we'll uh, we'll see. But anyway, um, um, we're going to talk tonight about the, the the seventh of seven feast days, um, the one that represents the millennial reign of Christ, the thousand year reign. Leviticus 23, Sukkot, which means te- it means tent. But it, it can mean a tent or a prayer shawl. Paul made prayer shawls, not tents that you sleep in. So on the 15th day of the seventh month, uh, when you have gathered in the fruits of the land, you are to keep the feast of Adonai for seven days. The first day is to be a, a Shabbat rest, which means Sabbath. Uh, you rest on the Sabbath. And the eighth day will also be a Shabbat rest. Um, which is unique as far as the feast days. Um, I think that the, that this is the only one that does two in a row. On the first day, you are to take choice fruit, fruit trees, uh, branches of palm trees, boughs and leafy trees, and willows of the brook, and rejoice before Adonai, uh, your God, for seven days. You notice that um, you're taking palm branches? They did that on Jesus' first coming. Without even realizing it, they were celebrating on Passover, his first coming and his second coming, without even knowing it. I think it's interesting. It's cool. You are to live in a Sukkot, a tent, for seven days. All the native born in Israel are to live in a Sukkot, which means you have to be a born in citizen. I wonder how that works. So that your generations may know that I, uh, I had the sons of Israel to dwell in a tent. When I brought them out of the land of Egypt, I am Adonai, your God. So that will be the, that is the, the celebration that they have, that they have honored for 1,500 plus, 3,500 years, awaiting the day that is coming very soon. I can't imagine how anxious Jesus is and everyone in heaven right now. What are the noises going on there? Preparing for his return. So anyway, I look forward to it. Something to think about. And you have a great night. Thank you for tuning in.